profane churches, which will have to be closed so that they would no longer be profaned, and humanity will be overcome with pain and desolation. Therefore nourish yourselves with the body and blood of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. San Francisco Archbishop Salvador Cordelion announced on Friday, May 20th, that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is prohibited from receiving Holy Communion until she publicly revokes her support for abortion. The San Francisco representative often describes herself as being very devoutly Catholic, despite her staunch advocacy and support for abortion up to birth. Her position disregards church teaching. In his letter, the Archbishop cited Code of Canon Law, Canon 915, which states that those obstinately persevering in manifest grave sin are not to be admitted to the Holy Eucharist. He said this is a pastoral decision and not a political one. It comes after numerous attempts to speak with her. After numerous attempts to speak with her, the Archbishop continues, and to help her understand the grave evil she is perpetrating, the scandal she is causing, and the danger to her own soul that she is risking, I have determined that the point has come in which I must make a public declaration that she is not to be admitted to Holy Communion unless and until she publicly repudiates her support for abortion rights and confess and receive absolution for her cooperation in this evil in the sacrament of penance. Archbishop Cordelion also sent the announcement to the priests of his diocese. He also warned this decision could increase attacks on Catholic churches. Archbishop said, Our churches are already being targeted for violence and our worship services are being disrupted which motivated me to send you the memo last week asking you to be more attentive to the security measures on your property. These attacks may now likely increase. I realize this, he said in a letter to a San Francisco's diocesan priests. But for us, as faithful disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, this is a cause for rejoicing. For the only reason this is happening is due to the Catholic Church's consistent defense of the sanctity of human life in all stages and conditions, especially at its beginning in the womb of the mother. I am convinced that this is the time that God is calling us to live the last beatitude. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of my sake. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.